Tio, please. Hey there, this is Tio. We're in another Careful Space Program video. Another one in the atmosphere as opposed to in space. This is a, uh, a foldable plane that I made that I'm showing off how it deploys and I'll be tinkering with it a little bit and um, I plan to use it for an, at least one more video. But uh, yeah, the idea is it's a plane that fits inside of a cargo hold of a larger plane. And uh, this one's equipped with a rocket engine. There you see my first deployment. It's got some hinges that allow the wings to extend and retract. It's got pretty good uh, flight characteristics. It handles really well. It generates lift really well. It doesn't uh, doesn't require a whole lot of speed to take off and land. And um, it also obviously fits in that cargo bay. So there you see my pilot just kind of getting high up in the atmosphere. And he's going to come back down. I'm going to try to land on the uh, island airstrip. This is actually the first time that I, uh, I try to land with this plane. I've launched it a couple times and I've tweaked it, tweaked the design here and there. But uh, never tried landing with it, and I, uh, I'm pretty happy with the amount of uh, thrust and uh, efficiency of that engine, the, the Dart Aerospike engine. I'm uh, probably going to try to take off and land a couple times once, uh, once I go back to the hangar and do some modifications. So uh, my plan with this, as I was making it, I thought it would be neat um, to try to do what, uh, what I'm calling a atmospheric docking or basically like a uh, mid-air refueling but basically I'm gonna deploy the plane extend the wings fly around and try to put it back in this cargo plane I'm not gonna do it in this video I'm doing it in another video but because I know that that's my intention I'm gonna try to modify the design to make it a little more reliable to deploy and once if and when I were to uh, dock with the docking port uh, I don't want the plane to flop around back there. I want a, a way to secure it in the cargo hold. So uh, there, here you see me just I mean, I'm ex changing where the, uh, the piston attaches. I'm, I'm making sure it can extend all the way back behind the door so I get r well clear of the rear of the cargo plane before I deploy. Um, probably also going to change how I attach. So right now I've got that decoupler on the top of the plane. I'm probably going to change it to the nose cone. Well, there you see me changing from a shieldable uh, docking port, a shielded docking port, to a, a standard docking port. So I'll just go ahead and attach the plane from the from the nose from the get-go, as opposed to having that decoupler on the top of the plane. So, uh, so that's one modification how I'm attaching it. Another would be um, that to the end of that piston, once it's uh, fully retracted. I'll have a, a second little docking port attached to the piston itself that um, would attach to the top of the plane. So when the piston's fully uh, retracted, it would be attached obviously at the base of the piston, but also um, on the far end of the piston. On the uh, so one on the body side, one on the piston side, if that makes sense. So that would make uh, that'll make the plane hopefully a lot more stable in the retracted position. Once the plane hasn't been deployed. Like at the beginning of the mission, there's a uh, struts keeping everything nice and tight. But once I deploy the plane, those struts get broken, and reattaching the plane later is gonna cause it to act like a giant spaghetti noodle and flop around in the back of the plane, which I don't want. So that's what I'm doing these modifications for. Not really for this video, but in preparation for the next video, just to show you how I'm tinkering with it. And I didn't show you how I built the plane, but uh, you know. You can see how I'm modifying it and be helpful for the next video if you're interested. So, uh, it's getting it all nice and retracted. Uh, one thing I, I didn't do in this video that you'll see if you uh, tune into the next one, uh, I do eventually swap out that dart engine for an air breathing engine because you'll, as you'll see, aerial uh, atmospheric docking is not easy and takes a lot of time, and the rocket fuel just doesn't last that long. So, there you'll see another. Good takeoff and hopefully landing. I don't remember if I landed this one or not, but um, I really liked how the cargo plane uh, behaved, except for in this case. Um, I talked about this in a previous video. Whenever you uh, change the root part and you start moving things around, it can be problematic sometimes, unfortunately, when things start behaving weird. I couldn't figure out why this plane worked so well in previous runs, and all of a sudden it's like tipping, pitching to the right. It's, it's so hard to handle. 
video, the purpose of the video isn't to showcase the cargo plane necessarily. It's the foldable plane, which I thought was really neat. But uh, I do have to figure out why it's behaving like that before I even attempt an aerial uh, atmospheric docking. So thankfully there are no Kerbinauts on board that ship. It'll just crash into the water. And let's go back to the airfield on the island. See if we can land again. I'm not sure if I did it in this video, but I do also eventually move those rear wheels outward a little bit. They've still got a little room to move out before they uh, they extend beyond that, that flat plate that the wings and the hinges attach to. But uh, I was really happy with how this thing's handling. And uh, again, look, I'm, I'm not going terribly fast, and I'm still got still getting plenty of lift, which allows you to touch down in a uh, more precise area. And there, I've got enough fuel. Let me take off again come back around and land so if you like the video hit the like button leave a comment if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that that's how you can support me uh, appreciate any comments or any ideas that's how i uh, interact with folks who like to play Kerbal or who don't and just enjoy videos appreciate you tuning in appreciate your time and i hope to see you in the next video